So the first step in the training is to take a look at Prezi's different license types. I'm going to show you several different licenses right now from my machine to help you understand which type of license will be best for you and the way that you work. So let's take a look. So from the Prezi website, you'll see a really obvious button in the center of the screen that says try Prezi next for free. You can try Prezi uh, completely free and you can use that free version throughout this training if you choose to, but please be aware that anything you create in a free license is completely viewable by any members of the public who might be on the Prezi website. They could type in your name or your business name and potentially see the presentations that you create. So only use that as a little testing ground. Please don't put any sensitive data into presentations that are being built on the free version of Prezi. At the top of the screen, there is a get started button on the right hand side and also a pricing button as well. So let's take a look at pricing and just quickly explain the different license types. Now again, the free option is over here on the right hand side of the screen for you, should you wish to use that. But if you know that Prezi Next is definitely the tool for you, then you can get started and of course set yourself up with a license. Whichever type of license you decide to pay for, everything will be shut down and completely private right from the very beginning. So there's no danger of anything becoming public or any of your competitors being able to see your presentations whatsoever. So the very first license type is the standard license, which I've just highlighted on the screen here. And this is the cheapest license type. Um, you can see at the very bottom here, it's uh, seven pounds, that's British pounds per month. Uh, obviously, if you're doing this training from the US or another part of the world, you will see your own currency uh, conversion at the bottom of the screen there. Now, this license gives you the full security that I mentioned, but it only enables you to use Prezi online. You can see here that there is actually an offline access option which doesn't have one of these little circles in it. So what that means is that if you know you're gonna be working from your desk within the same business every single day of the week, and that's the only place you're gonna be building Prezi's from and presenting Prezi's there as well with that internet connection, then certainly the standard license uh, is probably the best bet for you. Now, if you know that you are doing all of that stuff, but you will also be going out on site, maybe to visit customers and prospects, uh, you don't wanna be so dependent on internet connection, then we would certainly recommend the Plus license, which as you can see in the center here, it says best value, which it definitely is. Um, we would always recommend this to new customers. It's a little bit more expensive, of course. You can see that at the bottom of the screen here. But the reason for that extra expense is that you do get offline access. So you don't have to worry so much about always being connected to the internet to build, edit, or present your presentations. And you also get some of the advanced presenter tools. So you can see over here on the left, if I just highlight that, Things like the presenter prompt uh, notes, uh, PDF export for handouts and things like that. Those little tools that can make your life a little bit easier as a presenter. They don't come with the standard package, but they are there in the plus option. Now, of course, if you uh, want all of that, but want to take it to the next level, then premium is definitely the way to go. So a premium license gives you everything I just mentioned, plus the added extra of phone support, also some advanced online Prezi training directly from the Prezi website. Uh, that's all delivered in the English language only. Um, and also something that we'll come on to later on in the training, and that's this here, Prezi Analytics the ability to see exactly how many people have viewed your presentation, which areas they've spent the most time on, 
things like that. This is really where you're gonna become much, much smarter as a presenter, be able to build presentations that really, really hit home for your audience by having those analytics. And of course, with that, there is an extra price tag, as you'd expect, but certainly in my experience, it's, it's well worth it, you know, um, especially if you're in sales, things like that. Um, I would say that that is definitely the best way to go. So those are the license options. Uh, like I said, if you just are kind of dipping your toes with Prezi right now, continue on with the free license. But as soon as you want to spend some money, then of course everything becomes locked down and you can use either standard, plus or premium from that point on. So now that you've seen the license options, hopefully you can just quickly select the one that's right for you. Um, if you would rather get the cheaper option right now and add all of those extra things like analytics and phone support as we go through, or maybe over the next few weeks or months, then don't worry, you can upgrade your license at any point. In the next video, we're gonna look at some of the apps that you can download for Prezi. And this includes apps for your phone or tablet device, but also the desktop app. So for those of you who are going to get the premium license, you will be able to use Prezi completely offline. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on the very next video.